Hey everyone, Jace for here today with an unboxing of Power Director 15 Ultra by Cyberlink. So I've been having a dilemma of trying to find some good video editing software, and some of you had recommended this. Now I know it's not Sony Vegas or Adobe Elements, but it has the stuff that I'm looking for, preferably 4K video editing. So it comes in a nice colorful box. A bunch of inserts and stuff. Don't you just like how they make these boxes so fancy and you're just going to rip them apart? So let's open this up. And if somebody's going to probably say, why didn't I get a free copy? Well, I'd rather buy the software. And my apologies for the crackling voice. I am tired. <laughs> 18 hours being up straight without even a nap. Okay. Let's see here. So, this does a couple of things that I'm hoping that I can be able to do. I'm hoping this will run smooth. I like to break away from Movie Maker because it's at its, it's, at its end of its shelf life now. And I'm tired of using it, to be honest. I need something with a little more features. And I'm not into video editing. So hopefully this will do it. Let's make sure this doesn't have any product numbers on. So you get some, some inserts. And the disc is stuck at the bottom. So how do we, oh, that's how you get it out. Now, I could have gone with the digital downloads, but I decided not to. Um, so, we have two discs. We have disc one and disc two. Are these DVDs or CDs? Power Director... Okay. I may have to blur something out. I've actually found the product key. On disc number one. Uh, is this DVD or CD? Let's see if it is. Oh, this is actually a CD. They're not even scuffed up. I don't like these cardboard things. I'll leave that one off to the side. So, I'm going to have to install this on my computer and see how well it performs. And I'll let you guys know on how well it does. Um... I'm tired of using Movie Maker. You know, lately it's been crashing up a storm. And it's not something complicated. It can be something very easy, maybe two or three clips. Next thing you know, I get a problem of this file cannot be found. You're like, what? You know? And I'm hoping this will be a really good piece of software to use. Now, I could have wrote my own software and and stuff like that, but I really want to get a jump start on this type of uh, project. I want to bring out really good videos. Um, the camera I'm going to be getting, I think, is going to be a Sony or a Panasonic. And it's a professional-grade movie studio camera that I'm going to be buying to shoot the YouTube videos and it's in full 4k not ultra 4k I think it's in full flavored 4k video 120 frames per second I believe I don't know what this stuff goes I think this might go up to 60 frames I don't know but um, it's about time to upgrade my video gear and the camera that I'm using right now well let's see is it yeah I can barely hear that hard drive that's the thing and the camera I want is going to have the microphone stick straight out so it's not like it's um, the built-in jobby. Uh, you know, the camera, it, it's pretty big. You have to rest it on your shoulder to film things. It's, but, I mean, it, it might be a little bit of an overkill to do Lego tutorials, but I want to bring something out that's really good. 
and I'm hoping this Cyberlink software really helps out. And this is Extreme 360 Video Maker. I don't think I'm ever going to get into 360 video. I may. It'd be kind of cool. And it says it's... And let's look at the back here. It says it's easy to use, which means that it's probably going to take me a month to figure it out because, yeah, I didn't write it up. Um, you know, they had different levels of software. They had, like, Ultra and Elite. Um, they had too many levels, and most of them were just, like, packs, you know, like, filter packs and stuff, and I'm like... Do I ever need that? I mean, the only thing I really would like to get is the 4K, and let's see what else this thing here. Uh, unique design tools. Um, unbelievable. Un, un, unbeatable speed. Well, yeah, on my computer it wouldn't have a problem. True to life color. I'm going to tell you something right now. When I'm filming and I put things on Movie Maker, I notice it slightly discolors my video. So hopefully this is true to its word because, I mean, Movie Maker is kind of just, it's getting subpar. Um, now I was reading the inside of this and, you know the design flow and whatever but let's take a look here transition um des you know designer title designer i make my own title cards so i don't really care about that um but this one multi-cam um designer where you can have up to four video cameras i think that'd be really cool because then i can do tutorials in two different angles okay so when I'm building something, like if I'm building something like this, and I'm showing something here, you can also see behind it too, you know. I've been thinking about that. Um, PIP designer, I don't know what that is, and menu um, designer. Okay. Creates unique disc menu layouts and styles. Well, we're not burning DVDs or Blu-rays. Um, of course, 64-bit uh, editing. I think the program I have right now is 32-bit, and this is what I'm looking at right here. It does handle. Uh, it says it says Ultra HD 4K. Um, I'm going to be using True, so hopefully that would work. Uh, world's fastest editor, the smoother process, faster production, any other consumer video editing software, consumer video editing, so. This is obviously consumer grade, which is fine by me. And everybody knows that I'm not into video editing. I don't care to edit my videos. I hate editing videos. Every time I film a video and I'm enjoying it, I'm like, oh, now i got to take the camera off the tripod and hook it up to the computer, and then that's where the boring part begins. So I don't want to have to spend too much time editing. So this is going to be a new learning curve for me. Um, I did try Blender, I did try um, a couple of other freebies, and they just wouldn't work for me. So this, hopefully, will work. Get this to work great. If it turns out good, I'll let you guys know. And maybe in a couple of videos, you'll see an improvement. And, you know, if this does work really good, I'm going to buy that video camera. Okay, if it doesn't work, well, I mean, I, I'm going to be honest, if I had bought the camera first, I have no way to test it out, except running, except uploading big files to YouTube, and editing through YouTube's video, YouTube editor, I really don't want to do that. So, my voice is cracking, I am getting tired, I'm sleepy, my eyes are burning, I've been up for 18 hours, so yeah. So anyways, that's it, there's the software bundle, I'm hoping I can get this installed, and start learning how to use this so I can bring out some really good content in different angles and different things and and then when I get the new video camera no more grainy no more you know that noise in the background that you hear from the hard drive um, you know those kind of things and yes I'm gonna get the microphones that stick straight out so you don't even hear anything uh, I may end up getting one of those clip-on microphones so I can clip it onto my shirt and no matter what angle I'm at I still sound the same 
and I need to also get some foam or something to get rid of the echo off the walls. Yeah. So, it, you know, these tutorials are going to things are going to improve eventually and that's it you know i'm just i'm just going to i'm just going to step up to the plate also need to look for a good microphone for my live shows that's coming up i've been talking about it and no i'm not going to get a snowball or a yeti or anything like that i'm looking for professional grade quality stuff right because i'm doing this stuff now uh and i mean i, I want to kick up from my recycled webcam type thing and I want to get to some more professional grade stuff um, you know I've been doing this now I've been doing YouTube now solid for like nine years doing the Lego stuff for seven years uh, so I'd really like to step up to the plate on this and really bring out good content and in order to do that I gotta have good tools so hopefully this is a start and if it turns out really good and I like it I'll let you guys know, alright? I think I've talked long enough. Thanks for watching.